often asked why we focus on bank-owned properties, why we buy most of our properties from banks and bank-nominated agents. I'll try to answer that question for you with a story, the story of our very first home we ever bought. Before we bought our first property, I visited a family in pre-foreclosure. I found when I left the property on the street, as I get into my car, I started bawling like a baby. And I called my real estate partner, Scott. I said, you know what, Scott? I can't do this. I know we're helping them out because their back is against the wall, but uh, it was so emotionally gut-wrenching for me that I knew that I did not have the capacity to do this as a, on a career or over a career. So the next property we found, I was speaking to a, a divorced lady who had a very sad story. She's about to lose her home a couple of weeks later in pre-foreclosure. And with that previous experience, I had no desire to go out and see her at her home. But I made a note of the property for some reason, and I can't tell you why I did what I did, but I picked up the phone a few days after the foreclosure sale, and I called the bank that foreclosed. I said, I know a little bit about the property. I just spoke a few weeks ago to the former owner, and it sounded like something we'd be interested in. Can I get in? So I got into the property, and about a week later, we just purchased our first bank-owned property directly from a bank with no emotional distress. Didn't have to visit with a poor family in a downward spiral. I called my real estate partner, Scott. I said, Scott, this was a piece of cake. This was really easy. And basically our entry into buying and focusing on bank-owned properties was fueled by my complete disgust and being a complete failure at going into f uh, homes of families in emotional distress, facing pre-foreclosure and trying to buy their homes. That's a good way to buy, and many investors do real well with it. And I do believe that you're really helping out these families, but what a lot of these seminars and books don't tell you is that it's emotionally gut-wrenching, and it's not for everybody. So we began to focus on buying bank-owned property, not just from banks, but also from some of the banks that won't talk to you from the bank nominated real estate agents that they pick. And we, our focus is on buying them before the properties pop up on MLS. That's all I'm gonna give you today. And if you wanna find out more, please come and attend my upcoming event at your real estate club. And I'll tell you the secrets of buying bank owned properties for pennies on the dollar. See you soon.